And you're still watching news on the Ahion Plus TV Africa. And then still on the Nigerian news, Ekiti State Governor Kayode Fayemi has identified an independent judiciary and to adherence rather to the rule of law as key ingredients for good governance. Fayemi said good governance can only thrive when the three arms of government must coexist as separate organ of the government independently. The governor spoke yesterday in Ado Ekiti while inaugurating Obafemi Fasomi as a judge of the High High Court reiterated his administration's commitment to upholding the independence of judiciary and promoting rule of law in the state. Fayemi said his vision for the independence of the judiciary, judiciary remained sacrosanct, adding that the three arms of government were crucial to the effectiveness of the rule of law in the state. And now joining me in the studio is uh, Ifi Oji, who is a legal practitioner, to shed some light on this. Good morning, Ifi. Good morning, Maka. Happy, happy New Year. year. Happy New Year. It's good to see you in the New Year 2020. Now, you've heard um, what the governor said. First of all, what's your assessment of the adherence of the rule of law in this country? Before we even look at that, let's look at the definition of what the rule of law is. It's basically very simple. Basically making sure that everybody, um, every institution, mm -hmm. every citizen of a country, and every uh, agency and uh, government uh, arm is accountable mm -hmm. and has access to um, justice and, ha and is accountable to the law of, the, of that particular state or country. Okay, so having said that. Having said that, I think Nigeria has a long way to go. There, there have been pockets of instances where the rule of law is applied, but again, it's subjective because at the end of the day, not everybody will always get uh, a fair uh, um, um, access to the law. Mm. You will never have uh, someone that is uh, wronged by or someone that's aggrieved that has access to the law in the way someone that has more money or someone that is in government will have access to the law. Mm. So even from, from inception or from the foundation of it all, you will find that there are going to be lapses even in the Western world as well. Okay, I mean, everyone is uh, clamoring for good governance and that's what yeah. we hear the uh, governor saying there. And he mentioned that, you know, for good governance to happen, the three arms of government must be seen or even allowed uh, to exist co independently. You know, mm -hmm. uh, in our case in Nigeria, would you say that? Oh, yes, uh, that's that has been the case in Nigeria. I think what Governor, I mean, Governor Fayemi is referring to is basically the separation of powers mm -hmm. so that we can get checks and balances according to, I'm taking it back to my law school days. So what it means basically is to make sure that the executive, the legislative and the uh, judiciary are completely and utterly separate mm -hmm. and work independent. They work as a unit, but I work completely independently of each other. And are able to check uh, each other. And exactly, to the, to the end or to the, um, to the, to the end where, to the, to the end where they're able to uh, check, make checks on each other, and there's a balance of power across mm -hmm. the board. Have we seen so much of that in Nigeria? Well, the problem with Nigeria right now is the reason we haven't necessarily seen the most of that is because the appointments of the judges, for example, are done by, by and large by the executives. Mm -hmm. From a federal high court level and from a state high court level is done by the state. From a federal and judiciary level is done by the executive. Mm -hmm. So at that point, Normally in other Western and more developed uh, countries where law uh, is applied, you find that there are here judicial hearings. We know, we know the very famous case in America where they had a judicial hearing of uh, some of their uh, um, newly appointed judges. Mm -hmm. And you, you find that at least there is, there is that check from the from the from the from inception to make sure that these particular people are can they are independent of the executive and to are impartial whenever they apply the, uh, mm -hmm. the law. All right. So the judiciary, of course, will say is still the hope of the common man in terms of you know uh, yes. when looking in search when you're in search of justice. Mm -hmm. Now, how are we going to facilitate and be sure that it remains independent? You know, in our own situation in Nigeria. So I know you know the famous adage that says, "He who pays the piper." Calls the tune. So we are trying to make sure that in, in order for this to exist independently, source of funding for mm -hmm. the judiciary and even for, for recourse and any kind of consequence when the law is applied should be separate from the executive. So in these sort of circumstances, you make sure the prison system is properly and independently run. You make sure that they are that the, um, the judges are well paid. Mm -hmm. You make sure that they are in the, the banks are run in such a way that the money the monies that are for judgment debts are funneled in the right uh, manner and there's a protocol for, for that kind of funding. Mm, thank you so very <laughs> much, Ife, for bringing this to perspective. And of course, leaving us uh, more informed in this matter.